finally recording a video after a long month of hiatus. This finna be a breeze. Shout out to Ha Ha Davis. Okay, so disclaimers all around. First of all, I don't like to make people famous by means of calling people out on the internet because let's be honest the more the internet the, the denizens of the internet as I like to call them hate on something or someone or the combination of the two both whatever what have you the more we direct our hate to it the more attention it gets and the more attention it gets the more people the more the the, the people outside of the ones that hate on that person place or thing we get people that think well this isn't that bad she's right blah 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 and it boils down to uh, whether it's right or wrong scenario whether that person is dumb or not you are you following me are, are, are you following me I really hope you are because I'm trying to make it as clear as possible so about maybe a couple of few weeks ago there was a post uh, that my friend Kyle, uh, shout out to Kyle Q. Jackson, my dog. There was a post that uh, my friend Kyle put up on Facebook. It was uh, pertaining to a lady by the name of uh, Tamara Hall. Now, you know a serious when I have to pull out the first and last government name, right? And um, black uh, African-American black lady, uh, she was talking about how we as males possibly targeting black male specifically would stand in line for a 2k game or a game of any kind but won't stand in line for for our children and to to make sure that I'm not paraphrasing make sure that I'm absolutely 10,000 percent sure and yes I stole that phrase from you Jalen I'm sorry shout out to Jalen um I'm gonna put it up I'm gonna put it up and I'm gonna post it up on the on the screen Give y'all about a good couple seconds to just wash over it. Let it let it touch your skin. Let it let it touch you. Let it let it sink in here, right here. Let it sink in. Look 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 at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Do you see it? Do you see it? I see you see me see it. But do you see me see you? All right, that's enough. Listen, lady, Miss Hall, Tamara, I don't know. I don't care. Listen, just because black males like video games and black males want to spend our time, I am included in this because I have done it, spend our time in line for a particular video game or or a pair of, god forbid a pair of jordans because i've never done that and i i mean i'm not a shoe head a sneaker head like that but whatever um just because it's we partake in something dare i say the word fun oh god the f word how dare i right just because we want to partake into something fun doesn't always necessarily mean that we aren't aware of what the hell is happening outside of our houses, outside of our own field of safety. That's like going completely left field here in saying that, you know, that there's no leadership or whatever and what have you. And to be quite honest, your statement is completely ridiculous. I myself, and I, I don't speak for every black male in creation, but I myself have stood out to wait for the the next Call of Duty game. I've only done no wait. I've only done it like maybe two, three, two or three times. Um, I myself have stood out to wait for the uh, the latest Call of Duty game in my youth. Granted, I'm 26, so I guess you can count that as youth. That's not the point. The point is, I've done that, you know, and I enjoyed it because there's nothing. There's something satisfying. I don't know what it is, but there's something satisfying about. Uh, anticipation and knowing the fact that you're in line for something big you're in line for the newest 2k or the newest call of duty or the newest destiny or whatever what have you it could be anything the newest jordans the newest lebrons whatever sneakers out there that you enjoy there's something about anticipation okay and there's something that get the, something that sets that feeling that that almost like 
butterflies in your stomach. It's like, okay, the line's moving. You're closer and closer to getting your game or your shoes or whatever it is that you're in line for. The next iPhone, that's another example. There's something about that that sets like almost a joyous feeling in the pit of our souls, in the pit of our stomachs that makes us do these things. Is it stupid? Yes, because, you know, when you're standing in line for the next Call of Duty, remember, it's November, and November is cold, so I've been there, like, cold, rainy, or even some instances where my mother was there, but we're not going to go into extra detail, don't judge me because of that, anyway, what I'm trying to say is, no one should be knocking anybody for doing something that they like doing, or doing something that they love, or doing something that they think is fun, or doing something that they find passion in doing, as long as it doesn't fall behind under illegal, immoral, unethical territories, like eating babies or something like that, I don't know why I said that, just, just just listen at me now. Um, you, you, you can't, you can't knock somebody for what they want to do, okay? Because at the end of the day, you ain't their mama. You sure as hell ain't my mama. You're not their mama. You're not any. You're not any person's mother. You are not God. You have no right to judge anybody for what they want to do, whether they want to sit in line and wait for the next 2K, or whether they want to do whatever all else. The only time you should ever consider judging somebody is yourself look in the mirror and judge yourself before you and before you go forth to judge anybody else because nobody in this world is clean you don't have the right to sit up here and say such such things and blasting all these do all the dudes that are sitting in line having a good time waiting for their waiting to get the copy of their game i myself as a nerd took high offense to this when i saw this post that you made miss hall that was highly disrespectful and I am very offended. I am, I'm not even kidding, I am highly offended because I've been there before. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to derail your point at all, I'm saying how, uh, you, it's not right for you to say such a slightly insensitive statement that targets a certain demographic of people that I happen to fall under, even if it's not the game that I want because I'm not a 2K person. I'm just saying I've done that before and you're wrong for that. And if you thought that um, <clears throat> what she said was in bad taste, my God, the comments. Man, we've never seen a bigger group of no fun having ironic losers in my entire life. Let me, let me just, let me just give y'all uh, some perspective and post these up like right here, just. Kevin Hart is not amused. So let me plus ultra this uh, this point home and then I'm done. Tamara Wall, because I got your name wrong. Miss Tamara Wall, listen, there's nothing wrong with anybody standing in line for anything, be it a new system, the newest iPhone, the newest game, whatever, what have you. There's nothing wrong with that at all. The fact that you took this point and tried to run with it in a direction that you saw fit simply because I'm guessing misplaced anger or something something ate away at you. Maybe maybe your man didn't give you attention when you when when he had 2K when you were together with him. I don't know. That's not my business. What I am saying is you shouldn't be trying to target people that are just trying to live their life and enjoy themselves out of trying to make a point to claim the claim and I hate this phrase claim woke <coughs> or aware of uh, things going on in the black community that can cause a distraction you know what else causes a distraction stupid allegations you want to know what else causes a distraction conspiracy theories you want to know what else causes a distraction people like you people like you cause a distraction people like you cause a distraction and a divide in the black community and that's not what we should be focusing on right now if people in the black community want to do this type of stuff let them it's better than them going it's better than us going out in the streets killing each other it's better than us walking away from our families it's better than being labeled the bad guy by by the uh, by the white man and yes i say this because racism is real out here especially now that we have you know who in office 
no one has time for all this unnecessary quote unquote wannabe wokeness. No one has time for all this bashing of what black people do at uh, for, uh, what black people do outside of the norm. No one has time for all of that, and neither should you. If you have a life, you wouldn't care what the next black male does in terms of what he does for recreation. Granted, I'm not. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like there aren't black people or black males out there that don't, you know, that don't take care of their children. Like, like 2K is a bigger priority over their education or, or their well, or the child's well-being or whatever, what have you. Or even stuff, or, or even having 2K is a bigger priority over our community as a whole. I'm not denying that, but at the same time, though, take a step back and look at what the real picture is. Because change doesn't start with everyone else. Change starts with you. And it spreads out. Not, it's not something that you can berate others to force them to do. Because if, you, if you're talking stuff about something that I like to do for the sake of, try, for the sake of a greater good, I'm just going to look at you, stupid. <laughs> it's literally how you went about it. You went the wrong way with, you, you went the wrong way with trying to find a right way. And and that's not cool. Let's just all let's just all do better and stay in our lanes, guys. That's that's all that's all I'm here to preach about. It's united we stand, divided we fall. At the end of the day. So I've rambled enough, and uh, I hope that you know you all find this video with good intentions and take from it, and you know try not to run on everybody else's parade. You know. So I'm your host, the Starter from the Bottom TV. Keep calm and plus ultra. Peace, people.